this is Mike, NoStressMike.com. Uh, I want to talk on uh, on some health issues. Uh, I'm walking the streets of uh, Zhongyu, China. But anyway, uh, uh, one of the things that's going to be uh, um, how things are misdiagnosed sometimes. And sometimes they are diagnosed properly, but uh, the, um, the medical uh, the medical part of I, I want to say curing it, but I think most people in uh, in the medicine field know they don't really cure things. Um, they just help you uh, live with it, I guess you might say. And, and this is what I want to talk about, uh, some of the things. Um, and the reason is, uh, uh, this is something I've, I've never came across. And it was, uh, uh, was uh, can't breathe right. Um, I forgot what it's called. Uh, oh, no. I was thinking about it earlier. Now I can't believe I forgot the word. Uh, starts with an A. Uh, but, but anyway, my new woman. Uh, she's got she's she's got this uh, breathing issue, and she's had it since she was a child. Asthma. That's the word I'm thinking. And um, uh, she's been taking medication ever since. Um, that one was one of the problems we had when we first got together. Is she was taking medicine. I'm not a medicine kind of guy. And so I was asking her why she was taking it, and she was telling me about this asthma. And uh, and she admitted. She, she's a pharmaceutical. She's a pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. She worked. She hand out medicine in the hospital. That was her job. So she believes in this. Now, uh, uh, now I've been working on it for two months now, and uh, she doesn't take medicine anymore. She can breathe. Now, uh, I'm not saying. I cured her asthma. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is she doesn't need asthma medicine anymore. Uh, so, now, whether they uh, misdiagnosed her or uh, okay. um, or I really did fix her, I don't know. But it doesn't make any difference. In my world, the idea is you fix problems, and uh, and some of these problems get fixed pretty quick. Some take some time, and uh, but nothing gets worse. And uh, uh, that's why I want. Uh, okay, while I'm talking about the asthma. Uh, what I what asthma is. And well, I could tell by her breathing, she's had a, a breathing issue. And I checked it with the Hoi Chi. And she had one lung show up. So I know there was something going on. And uh, what I did is uh, I did use a cream. And this cream is an anti inflammatory cream. And I also alternated it with uh, DMSO, I think is what you call it. And uh, both are for uh, uh, inflammations. And uh, so I, I use that. Uh, one or the other, I switched them off. And uh, uh, I put it on her chest and on her back. And I used cupping. And we, we've been doing that every night. 
the body heals at night. So uh, in the daytime, you're doing all kinds of stuff. You're active, you're doing things, and so your body doesn't really have time to heal. So the healing process is at night. So that's why a good night's sleep is very important. And uh, she's been getting a lot of good night's sleep here. And that's since I started leaving her alone through the night, because like I say, I was more worried about her lungs than, than my desires. So, uh, But anyway, so we got her taken care of on her lungs. Uh, uh, I've, I've got gout, and uh, I haven't been able to shake it, but now, uh, once I figured out, once I figured out what the gout was, then I was able to uh, start the natural process of healing, and they say, well, it's never going to heal, well, they may be right. I've been working on it for 20 years now, uh, but it doesn't bother me. Uh, I had it in my foot. My foot was my, uh, my right big toe swelled up, and man, I couldn't walk. It was bad. Um, but like I say I, I watch. I've changed my diet, uh, meat, dairy, and all that kind of stuff, and uh, all the fresh cherries I can get a hold of, cherry juice, this type of stuff. Uh, that stuff's good. And uh, so, like I said, I've been able to completely shake it, but it's, it's down. I mean, it doesn't bother me at all. I notice I still have it, but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect my life. And it did when it was bothering me. And like I say I refused to take medicine, so I had to look for other options. Okay, and another thing is uh, just probably six months ago, I had. Uh, my knee started swelling. I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I went to the doctor and he said, well, you got water on the knee. So I was trying to figure out, well, what's water on the knee? And what that is, is it's kind of swollen knee. <laughs> Some inflammation in the knee. And I know everybody, everybody that I know of gets water on the knee. They you know, stick a, a needle in there and they suck out the water. And then eventually you get, you have problems, you take a medicine and then you get bad. It just gets worse. And then you need a new knee. Like I say, I'm almost 69 years old, so you know, I've been very brutal to my body, so everybody would say, well, of course he needs a new knee. But that's bullshit. Uh, you got to take care of yourself. And that's all what I did is that's where I got that medical cream for uh, taking down the inflammation. That's what the, uh, the, the doctor gave me some a prescription for that cream. I'm like, oh, I'll give the cream a try. Because it doesn't, medicine goes through your liver and destroys your liver. But a cream, I thought, well, I would try it. And I used the cream on my knee along with cupping. And uh, I talked about Silverlone. And uh, S I L V E R L O N. And it's uh, like a nylon material, but it's got silver in it. You can get it on eBay. Uh, I get the wide strip, long roll, and uh, I wrap my knee with that. That's good on inflammation. Silver's good on taking down uh, swelling. So uh, I did that, the cream and the cupping, and uh, wouldn't you know, water on the knee came, went away. So, and, uh, uh, but what's going on uh, now? I know if my knee been bothering me again, I'd, I'd fix it. I use the Hoi Chi. I use the Hoi Chi for everything. I use the Hoi Chi and I fix my knee. And normally, I can fix it every two or three months and I'm okay. And now it's been, boy, every two or three days I got to do it. And I couldn't figure out what it is. I also noticed I got a little bit of a sore spot in my gum right there. And that fires, it, it swells up every so often. And I mean, like every so many years. And uh, what it is, the first time, uh, they told me I was going to need a, a wisdom tooth taken out. And uh, after I did my homework, I figured out I'm not going to do no wisdom tooth surgery. So, uh, uh, so what I do is I don't eat on that side of my, my mouth. I keep it clean, make sure I brush it good over on that side. Because what it is, the gums, you know, stuff gets inside there and swells. And you're irritated when you use it. And so it's coming down now. But what I noticed is 
my knee started acting up. I couldn't figure out. Now, what happens when your hip goes out? Or when, well, the hip goes out too. But when your pelvis gets twisted, your hip will be out and your knees will be out. And uh, I was like, my pelvis is good. My hip's been good. So why is my knee going back? And so I checked my kidney. Using the Hoi Chi, I checked my kidney. And my right kidney is messed up. Wouldn't you know, it's on the same side as my bad knee. Okay, that's it's always like that. When you have a problem, the kidney on that side of the body is going to be bad too. So, and so that's what was showing up. And wouldn't you know, it's hurting on the right side of my, my gum. So uh, I'm thinking there's uh, some swelling going on right there. So I'm trying to get, I hope I didn't wait too long. I hope it's not infected. Uh, so we just have to work at it and see about that. And, uh, but like I say, so, and it's because I checked it with the Hoi Chi, I could check and see my kidney was bad. I already knew my knee was going bad more than it should be. And when it's, when, once it's bad, I can fix it just within a, two or three minutes. So I never have a sore knee. I mean, the first time it feels funny, I get it fixed. But it kept happening so often, I knew something was going on. And then I checked my kidney, and then the same thing. I could check this just by touching it like that. Uh, the Hoi Chi, I could, I could tell. So, in other words, there are things we can do. We don't wait for them to get really bad. You take care of yourself while you can, and then you won't have the problems. But I thought I'd bring that up. This is Mike, no stress Mike.com.